Hi, I'm Jennifer. And I'm Dixon. And welcome to the December edition of Pierce TV. We're coming to you live, or almost, from the Pierce College Bookstore, where they're festively decorating for the holidays. This month we'll hear from Christina Kipolitis and Brianna Dillon from Continuing Education. We have photography from our digital design program, as well as a film short from digital movie making student Scott Perry. This month's Meet the Instructor series features the choir director from Puyallup campus, Ken Owen, and we'll also hear about the new one credit classes offered by the BTEC department. Oh, camera two, Jen. Sorry. We'll start this episode with Denise Yoakum, president of Pierce College Fort Silicon. She'll be talking about the renovation going on in the Cascade Building here at Pierce College. Welcome to Pierce College Port Stillicum. As you may have noticed as you're arriving on campus, we are abuzz with construction activity. We are just in the process of renovating the first phase of our Cascade Core Building. It is our largest building on campus, occupying about 240,000 square feet. In phase one, we're looking at renovating 70,000 square feet of that to include new student services spaces, a new home for our library, and a new two-story black box theater. In our student services area, we will be providing a welcome center, which will host a receptionist so that students will be directed to the exact service that they need and will not have to worry about finding their way by themselves. In our library, we are looking to increase our stack space, redo our library media space with a larger lab for students. We will also have many different kinds of student study space, so students will be able to pick the environment that they're looking for to study in. For example, if you want quiet space, semi-quiet space, or loud study group space, all of these will have more access plus more seating in our new library. Additionally, our library staff is focused on providing a contiguous space to the library where students will be allowed to have food and drink as they're studying with their friends. We are really excited about the new construction of our theater. It's going to be a two-story black box space which will allow students to perform some traditional theater but also varying kinds of experimental theater. It will give students the ability to construct the space as they need it to fit their current scenes or their plays. As you can see, one of the elements of construction to our new building will be a brand new entryway. We are looking forward to having an open inviting entryway where all of our students can enter the building in the same way. As we continue throughout the next few years, construction will be a theme on our campus. We hope that you will pardon our dust and join us soon. From our continuing education department, here's anchorwoman Brianna Dallin and ACE field reporter Christina Kipolitis. Good evening, I'm Brianna Dallin with CE News. Tonight's top story, winter quarter 2008. Pierce County residents have reported seeing this publication in their mailbox. Residents have been questioning, what's the purpose of this mailing? Has Pierce College stopped offering Biology 101? Investigative reporter Christina Kipolitis is on location at Pierce College South Hill Park with this report. Christina, tell us what you know. Yes, Brianna, I'm here with Pierce County resident Kathleen Beaumont, who has some startling questions about these new developments. Kathleen? Well, you know, every month I go to my mailbox and I, I've been getting this stuff and it doesn't look like the regular college bulletin. You know, it's kind of fun, it's got a pretty color cover and inside you know there's like recreational fun art classes you know there's no biology 101 there's no english 101 um what's up with that well let me tell you kathleen and let me tell you puyallup recent research has shown that continuing education offers non-credit fun classes at affordable prices for your pleasure that's what's happening this is christina kipolitis with ce news puyallup back to you brianna Thank you, Christina. Winter quarter classes start January 14th. This time of year, the weather outside is frightful and it's a great time to take a class inside where it's warm. You never know what it's gonna be like outside in January. For a look at the weather, here's award-winning meteorologist, Christina Kipolitis. Yes, Brianna! Tonight, it's a windy, windy, almost 32 degrees with rain, leaves, and high wind. But inside South Hill Park, it is a nice 72 degrees. That is, if you close the bleeping doors behind you. Thank you. Back to you. With size seven. Can you put those on hold? Okay, till tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Christina. With New Year's resolutions right around the corner, CE has some great ways to get on the right track. Here's field reporter Christina Kipolitis with an update on sports and fitness. Well, Brianna, we don't offer a lot of sports here. Instead, we have lots of fitness and dance classes. Sign up for one of these, including ballroom, belly dance, cross-country skiing, ice skating, salsa, aqua size, tai chi, and more. This will help us keep our New Year's resolutions going. 
How about you, Brianna? Gonna keep one of those New Year's resolutions? Gonna maybe cut out that junk food? And we're back. Ah, yes, yes, that's an idea. I need to get back into my bikini for the Eastern Europe trip I'm taking in June. Speaking of travel, here is our own Globetrotter reporter, Christina Kipolitis, with Christina's Art, Culture, and Travel News. Tyson at the Sokolos now rallies to Mikrosha to Skilaki up in Valizamo. If you had signed up for one of our language classes, you would have known what I said, but you didn't. In any case, Winter Quarter has a lot to offer, including the language classes that you missed. We also offer knitting, painting, drawing, and some great trips to Eastern Europe, as well as the Christmas markets of Germany and Austria. Back to you, Brianna. Almost then I have to do the Strigla. Brianna! Yes, I agree. I do like corn on the cob. Our in-depth story tonight is about career and job skills training offered through continuing education. We have flagging and traffic control, medical coding, and computer classes. Here's Christina Kipolitis with more on the story. Continuing education has computer classes to help you better your job, upgrade your skills, or even improve your life. Microsoft Office 2007 classes start soon. This new version of Office is a real challenge, even for the experienced user. Employers will be looking for people who are up to this challenge. Digital camera users will love our Adobe Photoshop classes. You can crop, edit, enhance, add text, and even fix red eye in Photoshop. And customly create logos and your own clip art in Illustrator. Here with us now is CE instructor extraordinaire and my boss, Renee Phoenix. Renee, tell us what you are working on. Christina, this quarter we're going to be making websites with Dreamweaver. That's so exciting. So how about that anchor woman position, huh, Renee? No. Maybe? No. Back to you, Brianna. How are those typing skills coming along? Ah, uh, yes. I'm just brushing up on my computer skills so I can become a great investigative reporter just like you. Well, that's a wrap. I'm Brianna Deline with CE News. Take care. You're watching Pierce TV a production of the Digital Design Program at Pierce College. In January, the Pierce College Fine Arts Gallery features work by Michael Spafford. Michael has a great interest in mythology as a visual framework for thought. He says, dualism, metamorphosis, the confrontation of opposites, the struggle for achievement, the ultimate failure of a heroic effort, each of these gestures is expressed in the myths I use. My effort is to translate these gestures into abstract visual terms and pass their energy on to the viewer. In January, you can see the works of Michael Spafford in the gallery. Hours are from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Thursday and 8 a.m. to noon on Fridays in the Olympic Building on the Pierce College Fort Silicon campus. Here's some photography from Doreen Paulson's summer digital photography class. <laughs>
For this month's Meet the Instructor segment, here's Ken Owen from our music department at Puyallup. My name is Kenneth Owen, and I'm the music faculty here at Pierce College Puyallup. Uh, most recently, I've come from Arizona, where I was working on my doctorate at Arizona State University. Uh, before that, I was at Brigham Young University, where I got a master's in conducting. And before that, I was at the University of Utah, where I did a bachelor's in piano performance and pedagogy. I've been here at Pierce for one year now, working on my second year, just getting started. Uh, very exciting. Among the most exciting things is the music building. You can kind of see in the background here, which is, is in the planning stages and breaking ground soon. Uh, the concert hall, that will be very fun to have a, be wonderful to have an opportunity in a place where we can perform on our own campus rather than having to go elsewhere. Uh, as well, way over on this end, if you can see it, there's a recital hall for smaller performances, but that's also where the choir will rehearse, uh, which will be a, a much better acoustical environment uh, than what we're working with right now. I teach a theory course, a series of theory courses, uh, a music appreciation type class, and then of course, direct choir. Uh, and the choir has been absolutely wonderful, and it's growing, uh, and it's a wonderful opportunity for students to get up and out of those lecture seats and have an opportunity to, to learn in a real-time environment. And by that I mean that, that things are happening as you go, and we learn, we make mistakes, and then we fix them and, and, and start going again. Uh, and it's a real uh, working together kind of thing. In other words, no other class that I know of is it quite the same, where everything that you do affects completely what everybody else does. There's no individuals in choir, it's all one big uh, ensemble and therefore we really learn how to work together and, and do things together and there's a real kind of close-knit relationship that happens between the students and choir because of that. Now, this quarter we've got a couple of uh, neat concerts that we've been invited to participate, participate in along with our, our normal Pierce concerts. On December 8th, uh, we've been invited to participate with the community choir, has invited us to be part of their concert. Uh, it's at, I think, Christ Episcopal Church in downtown Puyallup, just down from the fairgrounds on 5th and Pioneer. That's a Saturday night at 7. Uh, so there'll be that community choir, and then they've invited us to come perform. As well as that, this is a concert we did last year as well, and we've been invited back again. It's a big community concert on December 9th, which is a Sunday evening, at a church on the LDS Church on 94th, right by Zyger Elementary, I'm not sure uh, what the address is. But uh, it includes, I think, Emerald Ridge High School, Puyallup High School, Grand Capalison High School, and several community ensembles that are all come together, perform a few numbers for each other, and sing some things together. So uh, it's exciting to be invited back to that and, and be participating in the community along with that. Next up is a film short from digital movie making student Scott Perry. Yeah, Byron? What the hell have you been doing? You're late! What time is it? It's one o'clock! Oh, God. Did you sleep through your alarm again? It disappeared. Disappeared? I set it on my desk and... Well, now it's outside my room. Chris, think. Today is Wednesday. We have two hours to complete this project. You don't want to end up like last year, do you?
Last year we didn't give them. Yeah, that's right. We didn't get them anything. They'd be like, chew my head off! Right, right. <sighs> Chris, this is a team effort, and I need you, man. Well, I don't really have a ride right now, dude, so... Do you think you could come pick me up? You live just down the street! Oh, yeah. You know what? We got a deadline. Just get your ass over here. Materials, photos, let's make a photo album. Where the hell did you get those? Crafters Jamboree, June 1994. Buy one, get one free. Couldn't resist. Let's go. I know you told me not to get you anything, but I made you this. I had to. That's so sweet. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day.
You're watching Pierce TV, a production of the Digital Design Program at Pierce College. From our BTEC program, here's Carol McGonigal, Luann Wolden, and Karen Myers. Are you interested in taking a look at the new Microsoft Office 2007 suite that includes Word, Access, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook? Pierce College in Puyallup and Fort Silicon campuses will be offering one credit courses in these programs beginning next fall during the day and the evening. They'll be self-paced in a lab setting and you can enroll for these one credit classes up until the sixth week of fall quarter as long as you can finish them by the last day of the quarter. Several levels of each application will be offered each as a one credit module. For example, you can choose from five different one credit courses in Microsoft Word 2007. The same is true of Excel, Access, PowerPoint, and Outlook. These one credit modules are self-paced, so you could perhaps finish them in one or two weeks or take the full 10-week quarter. This will also service people in the community who maybe just want to take one advanced credit of Word or one advanced credit of Excel to brush up on their skills for their current office job or for a job that they're applying for in the future. Also, students who only need one or two credit for their classes for a quarter can choose to take a beginning Excel class, Access, or PowerPoint. Any of these classes are going to help you develop skills that are in high demand. So if you take, if you only need one credit to fill up your schedule, or two credits, or perhaps you want five credits of something to satisfy a degree requirement, you can pick and choose which quarter you want to take those courses. The lab will be called CAL. CAL stands for Computer Applications Lab. In CAL, you can take any credit, one through five, for Outlook, PowerPoint, Access, Excel, or Word. It will be offered every quarter and we'll have two sections each quarter. We have one two-year degree and three one-year certificates for students who wish to pursue a career in medical administrative work. Our two-year degree is called an Associate in Medical Office Assistant and it covers not only medical terminology, forms, medical office procedures, but also business English, human relations, and computer software applications. Students completing this program are prepared to work in a number of different capacities, including a medical office assistant, perhaps a surgery scheduler, receptionist, or a unit secretary, just to name a few of the careers. Our one-year medical office certificate programs also prepare students to work in quite a few different medical office settings, from medical front office or receptionist to medical transcription, typing dictated reports, surgical procedures, etc., to medical billing, which covers a variety of different jobs. Our students are also completing an internship as their last quarter of study, which prepares them very well to work in a medical office setting. We offer many online courses at Pierce College also. Within the medical side of the Business Information Technology Department, we offer Medical Terminology 1 and 2, CPT coding, which is procedure coding, and ICD-9 coding, which is diagnostic coding. We've offered them for the first quarter here at the college, and students who wish to improve their skills or to gain new skills to move into a different office setting are able to complete these courses any time of day from any location within the quarter at Pierce College. Basically, the Fort Delcom campus offers the same programs that would be found at the Puyallup campus. At this campus in the Business Information Technology Department, we do offer what we call the IBEST program. IBEST stands for Integrated Basic Education and Skills Training. We offer two programs in IBEST here, one in the day and one at night. The night program eat, meets two nights a week and Saturday mornings, the day program meets during the day. Students earn a Business Information Technology Certificate by completing 34 credits and completing an internship. After they're completed with the certificate, they can go on to get a job or to complete a two-year degree program. 
Students in this program are integrated into the traditional classrooms. Some of our students are ESL or adult basic ed students. They have support from an iBEST academic support instructor and an iBEST support class. So it pairs students in their regular program with support staff in a support class. I choose for international business because this is my, what I like to do in my life. So making a review in the college in this area, I found out this college is offering a good classes and focus in what I have to do in that kind of business. So after two years taking business classes in this college, I can say they are excellent, yeah. Our programs here will really help train you for the job that you want. So come on down, check us out, and visit us here at Pierce College. Well, Raiders, that's another one in the books. We'll be taking the month of January off for reruns, but we'll be back with a new edition in February. Thanks for watching. If you want to catch this episode again, just go to pierce.ctc.edu slash pierce tv.